Today we'll be talking about graphing rational functions. This is chapter 8, section 2. So first off, what I'm going to look at is the parent function of a rational function. So let's do a table of values. I'm going to pick a 1, negative 1. Now I cannot pick 0 because if we plug in 0 for x, it's going to be undefined. So x cannot equal 0. We're going to look back at that in a second. Then I'm going to pick, let's try um, 2 and negative 2. So let's plug that in. Okay, and so let's plot these points on our graph. We have 1, 1, negative 1, negative 1. We have 2, half, and negative 2, negative half. Now that really doesn't look like anything at all. But let's look back at the x cannot equal 0. So that means that this graph will never touch or pass x equals 0. So this is called an asymptote. It gives us the guidelines of this graph to kind of show us where the structure of this graph is. And also, if we plug in anything at all for x, we can never get y equals 0. So we can also make that our asymptote as well. So this will give us the framework of our graph, and we can start really close to the asymptote because we'll get super close but never touch it, and then curve around. That's one branch of our hyperbola. Let's do it on the other side, right over there. So this is your rational function graph. So I have a few tips for graphing these when they're in standard form. And that's y equals a over x minus h plus k. And the steps are, first off, you're going to draw your asymptotes when x equals h and y equals k. That gives us our framework, and that helps us pick our points for our table of values. Once we've done that, we plot our points. And then we're going to draw our two branches of the hyperbola. Last off, we do our domain and range, and that corresponds with the asymptotes. So let me show you how this works. So we have our asymptotes. And that will be x equals negative 2. And y equals negative 1. We always switch the sign for x. We always keep the sign for y. So we're going to graph those. x equals negative 2 is straight up and down. And y equals negative 1 is horizontal. So this helps us see what the graph is going to look like, where we graph it, and what points to use in our table of values. So let's draw our table of values. So I'm going to choose two points to the right of the vertical asymptote, which is a negative 1, 0. I'm going to choose two to the left, which is a negative 3, negative 4. So let's plug those in. There we go. So let's plot these points. Negative 1, negative 5. 0, negative 3. And we know that this branch is going to look like this. Now let's do it the other side. Negative 3, 3. And negative 4, 1. And then we can do our other branch on this side. Okay. Now we can state our domain and range. Our domain is going to be x will not equal negative 2. And our range is going to be y will not equal negative 1. So that's how you graph your rational function, finding your asymptotes, your table of values, and then plotting. Let's do another example. OK, so let's find our asymptotes. is x equals 3 and y equals 2. So let's graph those. A vertical line at x equals 3 and a horizontal line at y equals 2. 
All right, now we can do our table of values. Two to the right would be four and five. Two to the left would be two and one. So we have one over one plus two, which would be three. One over two plus two would be 2.5. One over negative one plus two, which would be one. And one over negative two plus two would be 1.5. All right, let's graph that. So we have 4, 3, and 5, 2.5. That gives us our curve like that. Our next one is at 2, 1, and at 1, 1 1.5. And curve that around, and there is our graph. Our domain is x is not 3, and our range is y cannot equal 2. All right, next up, we have y equals 2x plus 1 over x minus 3. Now, if you notice, this is not in standard form. So what we're going to have to do is put it in standard form. And to do that, we have to use long division. So we're going to do x minus 3 divided by 2x plus 1. So what do we multiply by x to get 2x? That's 2. So we subtract. 2 times x is 2x. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. 2x minus 2x is 0. And 1 minus a negative 6 is a positive 7. Remember how we write the remainder. We do plus 7 over x minus 3. So what we're going to do is we're going to write this down. And this is going to be y equals 7 over x minus 3 plus 2. Now we have it in standard form, and it's much easier to find our asymptotes and graph this. Our asymptotes for this one is x equals 3 and y equals 2, same as before. So let's draw that vertical line at x equals 3 and our horizontal line at y equals 2. All right, now let's use our table of values. 7 over x minus 3 plus 2. And let's use 4, 5, 2, and 1. So we have 7 over 1 plus 2, which is a 9. 7 over 2 plus 2, which is a 5.5. 7 over negative 1 plus 2 is a negative 5. And 7 over negative 2 plus 2 is a negative 1.5. All right, let's graph these. 4, 9. And 5, 5.5. It's going to be a little bit of a wider hyperbola. Okay, so we have 2 negative 5, and 1, negative 1.5. There we go. Now we have our domain and range. x cannot equal 3, and our range, y cannot equal 2. Okay, so when we have something like that, that is not in standard form, we have to use long division to put it into standard form. Therefore, we can find our asymptotes and then be able to do our table of values accurately. Let's try one more of those. Once again, it's not in standard form, so we're going to divide x plus 3 times x minus 1. x times 1 is x, so we're going to have x plus 3, negative 1 minus 3 is a negative 4. So this is going to be written like this. So our equation is going to be a negative 4 over x plus 3 plus 1. So we can write down our asymptotes. Which is x 
equals a negative 3 and y equals 1. All right, so let's do a vertical line at negative 3 and y equals a horizontal line at 1. Okay, the table of values is next. Okay, let's look two to the right. That would be a negative two and a negative one, and then two to the left, which is a negative four and a negative five. All right, so let's do negative four over one plus one, which is a negative three. Negative four over two plus one, which would be a negative two plus one, which is a negative one. Negative four over negative one plus one is five. And then negative 4 over negative 2 plus 1 is a 3. So let's do negative 2, negative 3, and negative 1, negative 1. There we go. And our next one is negative 4, 5, and negative 5, 3. And that's our other branch of this hyperbola. Our last piece is our domain and range. Our domain. It's going to be x cannot equal negative 3, and our range is going to be y cannot equal 1. Okay, so that's graphing if it's not in standard form first.